Hey everyone, it's Jack Fuki again. I'm back with one of my 1500 scale aircraft reviews. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the Starjets KLM Royal Dutch Airlines Boeing 777-206 Extended Range. Uh, this one is in the 2003 colors. It's named Queen Wilhelmina with KLM Northwest logos and comes with a stand. The registration number is PH-BQA powered by two GE 90-94B engines and this was also released in 2003 also discontinued in that same year uh, limited production of 2000 so there's only 2000 of these made and it has been out of production for a long time uh, Starjets, the company who made it, uh, they're also gone so if you can find one you know you'll you won't regret it. It's it's uh, if you really love KLM, this is definitely one of them you should get. Uh, especially if you like the 777. Uh, the detail on Starjet stuff is um, again it's top notch. Um, the only thing comparable to it nowadays would probably be Sky 500 and In Flight 500. You know those, those types. You know Herp has been doing a great job on their stuff, but you know unfortunately they're not. Star Jets. So, you know, you'll hear a lot of people go on and on about Star Jets. Uh, this one, by the way, it says Shuko Star Jets. And that website down there, I don't think it works anymore at all um, since the company's not really around. But, um, you know, look at the back of the box here. Yeah, it does tell you stuff you already know that it's you know highly collectible superior quality you know well that's as uh, that was their trademark is that they really made some super high quality stuff and they I think they were like the first they might have been the first 1500 scale manufacturers that used the next generation type or new generation type landing gear but there's the other info on the real plane and there's the box with the stand in it. I, I personally don't like putting them on the stands because they're a little wobbly. They're not as good as, say, the Hogan stands. And there is the plane. Um, they really, really did a great job on the getting the color right on the KLM, you know, with the KLM blue. You see there it's got, you know, of course the KLM logo with the crown. Then in between the forward windows, the cockpit windows, um, and the door there, you can see the Sky Team logo, or actually, yeah, it's the, actually the Northwest KLM logo. And underneath the stripe here. You can see it says uh, Royal Dutch Airlines. I think it has it back back here as well. Registration PH-PQA. It's got the famous white tail with the KLM logo on it. Got the it actually has detail on the stabilizer there, which is uh, kind of unusual. And of course, you've got the detail here. On the engine there, you can see that it does have the KLM logo with a red line, which when I flip it over, you'll be able to see it. Nice window detail. Uh, the doors have all the, um, has the emergency releases and you know what have you it's got all the, like the little the little markings telling you all that and the other side yeah basically the same thing the only, only difference is that you know on the right wing it does have the registration and if you flip it over you will see you know nice pure white underside oh uh, yeah and then up here by the way 
it says Queen Wilhelmina right there. Nice, nice detail on the doors. The landing gears, by the way, are metal. The only thing that's plastic on this model is the engines. There are the engines and the tires. But yeah, great detail on those engines. Those are really superb. And of course you see the cargo doors. Cargo doors there. Maybe take a better look at the engines. Some nice, nice engines. And people will probably laugh and say, big deal, it's the engines, but no, it, it, it's, uh, you know, they're pretty good. I mean, they, whereas a lot of Herpa models at the time this came out were coming out with uh, a single piece engine with no, no real detail. Sometimes they didn't even put an exhaust on it. Um, you know, these guys, Sargents, they're really ahead of their time. I think Herpa actually learned a lot from them. Especially after, you know, collector, you know, the reaction from collectors was extremely high, you know, very enthusiastic. But uh, that is going to do it for this review. Um, I do have a KLM 787 Dreamliner coming in, uh, but it probably won't be in for about another 12 days or so. Um, but it is confirmed it is going to be on its way as soon as the store gets it and they're going to send it to me. I've already paid for it so it's guaranteed to be here and I will do a review on it the day it comes in. Um, <clears throat> just don't uh, forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Sorry this video is a little rushed but it's getting kind of late and I kind of forgot to make a review today and I only did one yesterday so go ahead and uh, you know Tell your friends about it, and again, for the millionth time, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, throw a like in there, and uh, I guess I'll see you guys later. Alright, take care.